Hello everyone, welcome to Switch Up as we once again have a look at some of the games coming out on the Nintendo Switch in this upcoming week. A big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now there have been a few stealth drops this week which we will look at first, helped in part of course by the Indie World presentation that took place a couple of days ago. Then we'll look at the games coming out this week and whilst I usually do 7 days going from the Saturday to the next Friday, I might go just past that this time just in case there isn't an episode next week. Ok with all that said, let's get started. Starting with that Indie World presentation then, and one of the games that dropped that day was Among Us. This is a multiplayer game that's been out for a couple of years now, but has really shot to prominence in the last, what, year or so, with lots of people streaming it on services like Twitch or here on YouTube. The aim of the game is that you will either be given the role of a crewmate or an imposter. Crewmates will go about their normal day, whilst the imposters will try to kill them and sabotage what's going on the crewmates must try to work out who the imposter is. It's selling for just £3.89 and can be played either online or with local Wi-Fi, but it does strike me as the sort of game where you would need voice chat and it's not available natively with the Switch. I know Switch Corner has a review of this one out, it might be worth going and checking out his review to see how that works and what implications that has, I'll put a link to his review in the top pinned comment. Also in that Indie World presentation was a game called Calico. Now I know little to nothing about this game other than what the trailer has just shown me and what little the blurb says, which is basically that you are trying to build up a cat cafe. You will need to decorate it, fill it with a variety of food and obviously with the aim of getting people to come back to it. It makes a point of saying it's a laid back and low stress experience and I do quite like the watercolour or pastel aesthetic it goes for, but the trailer itself doesn't really give much away. Anyway it's selling for £8.99 and as I said it's out now. During the recent Game Awards, as well as the Smash Brothers character reveal, there was also a stealth drop of a game called Shady Part of Me. This is a puzzle platformer where you take on the role of a girl and her shadow, needing to switch between the two to solve various problems and move on through the game. It has a lovely sketched art style and reminds me a little bit of two games kind of merged together, those being Little Nightmares and a game called A Shadow's Tale or Lost in Shadow as it was known in some regions that was out on the Wii a few years ago. A good friend of mine, Dave Morris, who sometimes writes reviews for us, has reviewed this game on his own channel, Save Dex Gaming, so if you do want to know more, again, I'll stick the link to that review in the top pinned comment. And then last Tuesday we had Football Manager 21 Touch release. This is the fourth of the Football Manager Touch series to release on the Switch and offers a very extensive version of the Football Manager game on what is essentially a handheld system. This new version has updated the user interface on match day which is very much improved as well as making a couple of other little tweaks and whilst the controls aren't quite as good as I would have liked it's still a fantastic experience. I have reviewed this one already, I will put the link in the top in comment, please do go and check that one out if you haven't done so already. And finally for the games that released without ever being on the eShop, we have Space Invaders Forever. This is a collection of free Space Invaders games. You have Space Invaders Extreme, Space Invaders Gigamax 4 SE and Arkanoid vs Space Invaders. I was going to try and review this one but I wasn't able to get round to it in the end so I will give you my thoughts on it now. The first of the three games Space Invaders Extreme came out I think on the DS originally about 10 years ago, maybe a little bit longer. It was for the 30th anniversary actually of the first game so it must have been 2008. It's a great modern take on a classic game, very similar in some respects to something like Pac-Man Championship Edition. You'll be shooting the aliens as they come down, but this time shooting four of the same colour in a row gives you a power up and you'll be blitzing through them much quicker than you would have done in that original game, trying to get those high scores. It really is a great way to freshen up an old game. Gigamax 4 SE is a multiplayer game, plays very much in the style of the classic, but with many more enemies and obviously if you get the full quota of four people playing, you'll stand half a chance and Arkanoid vs Space Invaders is quite self-explanatory. It of course blends those two classic games together. It sells for £24.99 which is quite expensive considering there are only three games on it. I think they could have maybe gone to town a bit more and included more games, but taken on face value it's fantastic fun. What I will say is there is a physical edition available and I've already seen that going for about £5 cheaper, so if I were you and you were interested, I would keep an eye on that one. A big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is essentially an online learning community which offers thousands of inspiring classes for those looking to branch out and enhance their skills. The topics include graphic design, creative writing, animation and film and video. 
Talking of film and video, I changed the editing software I used to make these videos, switching to Filmora 9 a few months back. The quick turnaround of our videos means I couldn't afford to just learn as I went, and thankfully I discovered James Wu's class on Filmora 9, Beginners to Advanced. It brought me up to speed on the basics of importing videos, cutting and joining videos, as well as showing some new elements that I'd never used before, such as scrolling credits. It was a big help in getting up to speed, so that production on the channel didn't slow down. You can get all of this for less than $10 a month via an annual subscription, but also, for a limited time, use the link in the description to get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. It really is worth having a look into. Okay, with all that said, let's get back to the video. Looking at the first of this week's releases then, and starting with something nice and simple, this is Traffics. This is a puzzle game based around organising traffic where you will need to stop the traffic lights in order to allow the traffic to run without there being any accidents. I really love the aesthetic of this one, it looks so simple and clean and this is the sort of game that I really like to relax to sometimes. It's selling for just £4.99 but it does have 20% off that price up until launch and if it's the sort of thing that interests you too, it comes out on the 21st. Out on the 22nd you have Override 2 Super Mech League. This is a mech arena fighter which is playable in either single player, local multiplayer or even online. It has a career mode where you must fight in the mech leagues, representing your club and working together to try and earn influence and rewards, a ranked rumble competition, mech mania which is 20 playable robots all coming together in one arena at the same time, there are arena hazards to look out for and you can play in either 1v1, 2v2 or a free for all mode. I couldn't find a whole lot of gameplay to go on, there are only screenshots on the eShop, but I did find a gameplay trailer on Steam in the end and it appears the action takes place from a third person view and it's basically a 3D brawler as I said. This one's selling for £24.99 and I think it also has a physical version coming too. Then on the 23rd we have a game that I'm sure is highly anticipated for many people, this is Super Meat Boy Forever. Another game that featured in the Indie World presentation the other day where it was finally given a release date. This actually started life many years ago now as what was going to be a mobile version of Super Meat Boy. It then evolved into a sequel but as I said has been a long time coming. Super Meat Boy, for those who haven't played it, is a ridiculously hard platformer where you must get through levels with a variety of death traps using your acrobatic abilities and you'll have to be bang on it to get through these levels. It had the unique premise at the time of showing you a map of all of your deaths so you could see just how many times you'd failed at a level and it was fun in a masochistic sort of way. This appears to be more of the same for the most part, although it says the levels are randomly generated, which I don't think they were in the first game. I might be wrong there, let me know if I am. It says every time you complete the game, an option will appear to replay it, with a whole new host of levels being presented to the player, each with their own unique secret locations. It's coming out, as I said, on the 23rd, and it's going to sell for £15.99. And then listed for the 25th, although I have a feeling they may come out the day after that, these are the BitTrip games. You have six of these in total, they are BitTrip Beat, Flux, Fate, Void, Runner and Core. They're selling for £4.49 each or your regional equivalent and there are different discounts available depending on your region so have a look on the eShop if you are interested and basically these are rhythm games but each attaching itself to a different play style and all of them using a fantastic retro aesthetic. Beat for example plays like an updated version of Pong whereas Fate is a bit more like a shoot 'em up Runner which is my favourite is an endless runner as the title would imply and I have actually reviewed this one, it went out earlier today and I'll put a link to that in the top pinned comment, again please do go and watch that if you haven't done so. These are fantastic games, well worth the money and Bitrip Runner was actually the first game I ever bought digitally back when it was on WiiWare back in 2010. I bought it at the same time as another game called Drift Mania, a very good top down racer from Konami, I wish that would come to the Switch as well. The penultimate game of the week then, this is the Hong Kong Massacre. This by the looks of it is heavily inspired by Hotline Miami, having that top down view and fast paced action. 
I have looked at some reviews for this, it's been out elsewhere for a little while, and it seems to have scored pretty well. You're looking at 70-ish percent, perhaps not as good as Hotline Miami, but a decent alternative. It's selling for £17.99, although there is 25% off of that price up until the 3rd of January if you own one of the publishers' other games. Again, have a look on the eShop for full details. It's stated to come out on Boxing Day the 26th of December. And the final game we're going to cover today then, this is Door Kickers. Now Door Kickers is a top-down real-time strategy game where you play as a SWAT team and must plan out your routes through buildings, taking out enemies as you go. There is already a Door Kickers game on the Switch, I think that one's called Action Squad, which plays from a side-on view and is actually a spin-off of this particular game. It's going to sell for £10.79 but again there is 25% off of that price and again it is dependent on owning other games that this publisher has put on the Switch. I don't know a lot about this particular Door Kickers game, but I do know the spin-off game I just mentioned is a lot of fun, so it may well be worth checking out. Ready to fire. Door unlocked. Charge in position. Ready to blow. Flash out! So there you have it then, there are a selection of some of the games that Stealth drops on the Switch or some of the games coming out in this upcoming week. All things considered between the two sets of games, I think there's a fairly decent selection. Please do check out those reviews I mentioned in the top pinned comment if you haven't done so already. A big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. The link for a free trial of their premium product is also in that top pinned comment. Please do go and check that out too. A quick thank you to our Patreons as always for your continued support and to each and every one of you for watching our videos. Take care, stay safe and until next time, happy gaming.